Hollywood makeup artist and costumer Jeannie Lin travels to Arkham to work on the new Nightmare movie by enigmatic director Sydney Fritz Maurice. The star is her sister Renee Love, Sydney's collaborator and lover. Desperate to outdo the thrills and terror of Lon Chaney's popular pictures, Sydney prepares occult infused dream sequences for Love and her co stars to perform. But there's more than mere imagery at play as the cast suffer recurring nightmares, accidents, and impossible waking visions. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host, Liam, aka Hemvar. Today I'll be doing a spoiler for your review of Rosemary Jones' Mask of Silver. Mask of Silver by Rosemary Jones is a 2021 novel and in the line of Arkham Horror novels. I haven't read any of these other novels in the Arkham Horror line. I also don't read a lot of horror. Um, I would maybe call this light horror as it's not, definitely not like slasher horror type stuff. It's not gory. It's not even very scary actually for the most part, but it is eerie. And it definitely, of course, as you can guess by the, the name Arkham, in a Lovecraftian vein. And in fact, it takes place in the 1920s, uh, largely in Arkham, which I believe is a fictional place in Massachusetts. Um, it is a, about uh, filming a movie um, and when this goes wrong uh, because of occult rituals uh, getting involved. And there is death for sure in this novel. Um, I have read... A novella and a novel by Jones before, both in the Forgotten Realms, um, one of which was very much a gothic tale that I thought was exceptionally well done, so I was looking forward to reading this, and I was not disappointed. I actually really enjoyed this. Um, this is, in some ways, um, kind of old school again. Um, I, it focuses a lot on character development uh, for the first four-fifths of the novel, um, when everything comes to a very uh, dramatic climax for the last little bit. So Renee is our narrator and Jeannie, um, or rather Renee and Jeannie, our narrator, are the main sister, uh, main characters. Uh, Renee is the main actress for the filmmaker Sydney and Jeannie is a costume designer. Um, both are from California um, and their mother was Chinese and their father Swedish. Uh, Renee looks mostly European though, uh, which has helped her career uh, because she, well, she doesn't look Chinese. Um, Jeannie does look Chinese, though, and so most people don't actually know that they are sisters at all. Um, and also since Renee changed her name. Um, so this is kind of a cool dynamic we get from, uh, having it be a period piece, as, of course, um, well, it kind of fits, right? People being a little bit racist to Chinese Americans, um, especially at this time. Um, and so it's interesting though because Sydney as a character is someone that of course is in the movie making business in California, but he is from Arkham and he wants to return to Arkham um, for this movie to make a really good horror film. Um, but well, he might be getting involved in some things he shouldn't be um, to make this horror film as effective as possible. At least that's what we're led to believe. Um, this definitely uses a good amount of jealousy uh, for sinner, sinister conflicts, um, which do slowly progress with uh, the character de development for the most part of the story. Um, it, again, it's kind of a slow, creepy horror. Um, I like using the words eerie and creepy. I don't know, horror just makes me think of, uh, I don't know, like what I'd imagine Stephen King writes, but I don't, I have not read any Stephen King. Uh, so it's pretty interesting though, but um, and it, it is interesting also because it is the type of spooky stuff that you can justify um, or logically explain, essentially, rather, um, until you realize that it isn't something so logical and it's maybe supernatural. And, but then you kind of come to that realization too late. So it's a kind of a good ghost story, but it's it's not really a haunting. Um, it's more of that occult, uh, otherworldliness, uh, weirdness. Um, I would have liked maybe a little bit more Lovecraftian vibes coming from it, but uh, I think it does a decent job. And there actually is a sequel of sorts. Um, it's probably not the right word uh, for it. Uh, Jones did write another Arkham horror novel that came out in 2022, actually, 
um, called Deadly Grimoire, which I believe has little bits and pieces involving the Mask of Silver, but it's not really a sequel. It looks like it's a standalone, but seems like it might have some nice stuff for those who have read Mask of Silver. So I recommend Jones as an author anyways. Um, and if this stuff sounds interesting to you, maybe go check out Mask of Silver. Um, if maybe that's not your type of thing, but you want to get into some Forgotten Realm stuff, you like gothic uh, stuff maybe a little bit, maybe you could check out, say, City of the Dead by her for Forgotten Realms. But anyways, I will definitely be reading the Deadly Grimoire at some point. Um, and this is Liam from Liam's Lyceum. I will catch you next time.